So um, what I'm going to do today is talk about my experience with my different Gainer Minden shoes. So um, I, my Gainers were the first pair I got after I started ballet again. I grew up doing like, I think it was really old Capizios and then Grishkos and I never really did well in them. The first pair that I really felt like I could feel the floor, could articulate, could do things and balance um, were my Gainer Middens. And I bought a pair that didn't really fit super well because it was what the dance store had in stock and it was a custom pair that someone else had made. And I just loved them. Um, and so they were, this was probably in 2015. They are four boxes. Um, so you can see they are, I mean, they're doing okay. They're a little beat up. These were the most amazing shoes ever. I wore them all the time and I took them everywhere with me too. I mean, I still do that with other shoes, but like these were the game changer shoes for me. Since then, I've never been able to get a pair to fit quite like these do, um, no matter how many combinations I've tried. So these, being a four box, they are too wide for me, so I do sink. Um, I've tried the box liners, the box wings, the sole liners, the totally toes kit. I've tried everything with all the different pairs. Um, these also, the drawstring came out of one, so they're super loose on my foot. Other than that, like, I just know that these weren't the best fit, so I was trying to get a better fit. Um, but I loved, loved, loved these shoes. So these were my first ones. These actually don't feel that bad right now. My second pair, these are the only ones I've like never ever been able to use. They were awful. Um, I did the online, like trace my foot, send in the pictures. On. So these were my second pair. Um, they advised me to do a three box. I also did, let's see, so let's see, what was this first pair? Just so we can go over it, because I have a bunch. So this first pair was a classic 7.5 narrow, four box. Um, it's the pink shank so it's the supple um and then it had i think it had just a high heel and a deep vamp um it was the old style so it's different numbers it's like two 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 one and two two are on the end um so that's the older style so it doesn't tell you as much what it is the second one they had me do i did a they wanted me to do an eight but i said no i'm gonna stick with 7.5 i did 7.5 narrow and a sleek and it's a three and then it's sleek heel and a like regular vamp. This is so tapered, I can't even get over this box. I even tried, as you can see, I tried like doing a little bit of darning, but I didn't really get very far because it wasn't going anywhere. So comparatively, there's a huge difference, huge. And these, like, I, they're still the supple shank, but I could not get over these to save my life. I don't ever try these anymore because they just were that bad. So these were the second pair I tried, the super tapered three box with the sleek look. Um, as you can see, I could barely get over these shoes. They were super stiff um, with the supple shank in that. Uh, it just, it wasn't a good fit for me. I need something I can get over and balance on better. And especially when I was restarting, I really need a better balancing broader toe box. So these just never worked. So then after that, I did another custom pair. Um, right now they are pancaked for, well, what I look like in the summer. I'm not that tan right now. Um, Cause I was trying, since I wasn't using these, I was trying pancaking on them. So um, these are a sculpted 7.5 narrow for supple deep vamp low heel. Um, so we're still doing the supple here. And the supple worked fine for me as a shank too. So that was not the problem. It was more the combination of the box and the vamp that were the problem for me. 
So I forgot, these are actually the sleek shoe, the next pair are the sculpted ones. Um, but as I tried these on, I realized, one, my big toes were in so much pain because I was sinking so bad already just standing in them here. But also, they were really almost impossible to put on my feet because that heel was so low that I could barely get it on my feet. Um, these I'm still sinking in really, really badly to the point these hurt my toes. I've tried. Same with this next pair, which those, that first pair and then this pair and then this next pair are the only four boxes I've ever tried. Um, I'm hoping they'll come out with a three and a half box because literally that would solve all my problems and I think some other people's too. So this is, um, the cappuccino. Um, so if you compare it to a normal colored one, it's a little darker, but not too dark. Um, I love this color. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, it's probably a little too dark for me, especially right now because I'm pale in the winter, but um, it's really pretty. It is, so this was a, oh, you know what? I was wrong. This last pair was a sleek four box, 7.5 narrow with a deep vamp and a low heel. Um, because this one is sculpted. I forgot sculpted is the SC. So these I did the sculpted. This is when they came out with the sculpted and the cappuccino. So I did both at the same time. I did sculpted 7.5 narrow for feather flex. So this is the uh, blue shank, a little softer and the low heat, low vamp high heel. Um, because I need lower vamps and this I'm still sinking in and I want to use these shoes so badly. I never put ribbons on because I've never been able to get them to work as it is. Like even just standing in them, it hurts. So I didn't get very far with these either. So these are the sculpted cappuccinos in a four box and they do look decent on my feet. They're so pretty. It's just, I was sinking so bad even just wearing these. Um, I, I wish I could make them work, but even with the wings and stuff, I can't. I do love how flat they sit on the floor if you see that. They're so comfortable just because you're not feeling like you're wobbling when you try to balance just standing flat. So now is the next like breakthrough one, which uh, other than the fact that they're so tapered would work amazing. So I found a size, I was deciding to just look on um, eBay instead. And I found a girl from Cincinnati Ballet who was selling hers, who wears like the same size I do um, in a three box shoe with the feather flex. So they're cut and they're custom shoes. They've got low vamp, low heel, all these things that would take like two months to come in and she's just selling it off eBay so I could get it like right away. So I got, these are from her and I have like four of her pairs I think I bought. Classic 7.5 medium, three box, feather flex, low vamp, low heel. So these, as you can tell, have been worn quite a bit. Um, and this is actually the second pair I got from her. The first pair I wore out really fast and the like green tip here was coming out of the shoe. So they're painted black just to paint over them and make them look nice and they're sitting in that box. I just didn't get them out because there was no point. These are literally the same shoe. And so are this pair that's sitting here. And so is one other pair here. Maybe this next one in line. Yeah, I think these are from her too. Like I said, I bought four from her because that really, like that first pair that I had in there, that black pair, um, I could turn on them, I could balance on them. It was fantastic. For some reason, every once in a while, they fit just slightly differently, which is weird, but I've noticed I've had a harder time balancing on the tips lately on these, but also the heel was digging in really bad, the low heel. So I thought, okay, maybe I need a different heel. Um, so at the moment I still have like this pair is newer and obviously that pair is newer too. I always like to have an unsewn pair just cause I think they look pretty just to have. And they were from eBay so they were much cheaper than the real thing. I mean, than the, from the store. Um, so then I bought the same size from her when they came out with the red cause I really wanted red ones. So I bought these gorgeous, gorgeous red ones for my birthday last year. Um, so these should be the same size. They are a da -da -da -da, classic seven and a half medium, three box feather flex, low vamp, low heel. And they even, on these ones, I got them to say made expressly for Allie, which is really cool. So I love these, they're gorgeous, but although the ribbon kind of sucks because they didn't have ribbon at the time, so I had to buy a ribbon and this ribbon is really crappy, so I really just need to get new ribbon. Um, but 
these again I didn't feel like I was supported enough in them like I'm falling over in them um, and that the heel was kind of digging in so these I've worn the most though like these ones from that girl okay so all of these shoes are all the same size and everything as these so they're all the same same with the black pair that I already don't have so this is the one that I ordered off eBay and this is when I got them in red very good shoe Very pretty shoe. It's more just that tip is too tapered. So like I can step up onto it, but if I were to have to do like any sort of like releves up, it's not gonna go as well. Um, so I were to bad they're just not fantastic so then I was like I'm just gonna go buy Diana's dancewear which is one of the shops here because they are the only one in Cincinnati that sells gainer mendens I was like I'm gonna go by there and try things out so went by I got a new pair this is a pair that I think I've shown you all my brother actually did all this detail on them um, which is really really cool I'm trying to show you my camera's having a lot of issues with like auto focusing today oh there we go so this is the one from my brother, or well, the design for my brother. I had him do this based on Kylie Shay's um, point shoes that she had because I thought they were gorgeous. So these are a little bigger, and I also had a harder shank because that's what they had. So I decided to try a sleek eight medium um, three box with an extra flex shank and then deep vamp and low heel because that's what they had. Now, I trying these on the store, they looked amazing, they felt great. I went home and sewed them and sewed them and tried to dance in them and I couldn't even get over them or anything because between the shank and the high heel or high vamp, I could not get over in these. So I've like never been able to even use these. I sewed them and then I just took the ribbons and everything off because I'm like, I'm not gonna waste them on these because I can't even use them. So I had my brother decorate them. So they're very pretty, but I can't use them. But those felt good with that eight length and everything. Everything else felt good. The extra flex and the eights, like not bad. And without them sewn, I can do okay in them. But the second I had them sewn, I couldn't. Now these do give a lot more support. But, sorry, I can't even tell what I'm doing up here. I don't know what it actually looks like. But. These are gonna pop off my heel if I do anything because they're not sewn. But you get the idea. Not bad. So I thought, okay, fine, I will give in and order. I went back to the supple shank with these. These also did not work and I don't even understand. The eight length in these worked. The seven and a half all felt kind of tight in the threes. So I thought, okay, eight length. So these, and I even talked to Gainer Midden each time I've reordered these shoes and it still just isn't quite right. Um, so this is a classic eight medium three uh, supple low vamp high heel so i'm trying to compensate for the fact that the heel was bothering me on the others i sink in these shoes so bad i can barely wear them and they hurt my toes and i don't understand because they're literally other than the ones i got from that girl the only difference is they're a longer shoe just slightly and a high heel and the vamp is or no, not the vamp the shank is stronger but like that wasn't enough that i would have thought it would have made that big of a difference in me sinking in them so Okay, so looking at these as I wear them, they don't look bad. They actually look like they make my feet look good. They're not a bad fit at all, but even just wearing them there, I was sinking in them, and I've tried all the padding in those too. Um, it, I wasn't used to a stronger shank too, but I think more than anything, it was that I was sinking in them. Um, you can still see I wasn't quite all the way over the box either. My other issue was also that they gap really bad, um, like they were too wide. So you'll see in a second here, they're just, they gapped so much they didn't look nice. The latest ones that I've tried, and I'm liking them, so I decided to try the Pianissimo shank with this purple here. And it's the softest one they have. I really like it. Now I will say, I kind of still feel like I'm sinking in these shoes too. So again, I got an eight shoe again. These are a sleek, 
So the last ones were classic, I believe. Yes, these were classic eights. So this time I did a sleek because these ones were a sleek as well and they worked. Which I had always written off the sleeks after the first time I tried them in these awful, awful ones that I got on, that I'd done the online thing, so. Um, but these were a sleek eight medium, three box, Pianissimo shank, low vamp, low heel. And I'm still kind of sinking in these two. So I, my thought is I need to go back to a seven and a half um, when I have money again, which is not right now, so I don't need to do it right now. I need to wear these shoes all out first. I bet you feel it sinking a bit in them. Um, I need to go back to a seven and a half, do a high heel, like do the same combination of these, but with a high heel and see if that fixes it. Um, cause those are the ones that have worked, but more than anything, I need Gainer Minden to come out with a three and a half box because that is going to make all the difference. So this other pair here that I have here is just that same pair that I get off eBay from that girl. Although I think I have now bought all of hers. I don't think she has any left. So, um, that is my experience with Gainer Mendens. I'm gonna try and do this series with like each brand of shoes that I've tried, just to give you an idea. So, bye.